Well here we are then, finally the uh, brake cables have arrived in the post today, I've got two of these but uh, the long one obviously which is the back one and uh, the short one which is the front one, this has been halting uh, the progress on this bike. Now I'm hoping that might cause the uh, the issues that I've got with this uh, brake lever has been really really spongy and just basically pulled it all the way to the handlebar so now I've got those it's not stopping me getting my uh, nicely refurbished wheels back on, nice tyres and tubes are ready to go, I've got the shoes ready. So I'm going to um, replace this brake cable, start with the rear one first, we're going to pull it out and we'll replace it with this new one that I've got to, once I've taken it out of the packet. So that's what we're going to do, starting now. So I've just removed this uh, headlamp cover, just three screws really, just drops off out of the way. And as you can see here, I've just got this, uh, this brake cable out here, I've just popped it out. It's very simple to do, there's just a screw as you can tell on this side here, there's a screw here. You just basically undo that, it's all done with a, a locking knot on the bottom. Undo it and you can just drag the wire out from the bottom, it just pops out. So this cable, you can tell underneath, just film undo it, I've just uh, loosened it off at the back. It runs right underneath, not a bad job to do actually once you've got the panels off. So it's definitely worth replacing these for about seven or eight pound off. And um, paid for them. Just runs under the back of here, under where the ignition is. As you can tell here, it just runs around here, on this side. Just runs around the front, and it runs round into here. So, not too bad a job, really. Got to get it behind this wire in here and just pull it right through. You can tell there, uh, make sure it's just nice and out of the way. We'll also activate the uh, the levers just to try it to start with. We'll also move the handlebars as well, just so that we can uh, make sure it's got enough access to work properly. So let's we'll start by pulling this out. So I'll start by just unloosening this, uh, this knot at the back. This sets your tension. Keep these in a tray that I've got down below me. We'll pop that out of the uh, rear brake arm. It actually sits in. Uh, there's actually a, a groove here. It actually sits in uh, this transmission underneath here. There's actually a groove that needs to sit in to pull against to get your tension. So I'll pull that out and just. Uh, Begin to push this through the frame. Be very careful of these wires as well just to push it through, make sure nothing's going to get trapped or moved out of the way or disconnected. Just gently feed that through there under the underside of these wires. A little bit tight, but uh, sure we'll get there in a second. There we go, a little bit of persuasion. We have this. Uh, this old brake cable removed, very simple as I've said with the panels off, obviously if you were just taking the uh, the bike to bits to do that one job it would be a bit time consuming so that's the first one off anyway. As these new cables don't come with this tensioning spring, you need to make sure you don't lose this when you're taking it off. As you can see I've got the uh, the old cable just lined up next to the new one just to check that all the fittings look uh, similar which they do, pretty much uh, very very much the same so I'm happy to make a start threading that back through. So I'll start with this end of the cable here as you can see. I'm just going to thread this back through under this wiring under here, make sure it goes around the back of it all nice and cleanly and uh, obviously just under this clip here as you can see there's a big silver bracket here I want it to go behind there so I don't want anything moving about we've got that nice and firmly behind there what I'm going to do next is uh, just pop this pull this, this bit slides about, we just pop it to the end and pop it underneath push that in place, a little bit fiddly to do but uh, Just slides in, as you can see there, and then uh, just pop this back here. And this little casing just fits in this plastic sleeve there, so that gives us a starting point. We've got this through the back. We need to take this on the, uh, the far side of the bike, as you can see from there. We'll come around the other side of the bike and thread this back under the chassis. I've got that just uh, underneath this chassis as you can see here. 
and also here when I took it off it was just flipped in here behind this uh, this little bracket as well so I've popped that back down there it seems like a, a sensible place to put as long as it's not trapped between these screws it should be fine so I've actually made sure that uh, this actually runs underneath the bottom of the shaft it just this chassis here just near this uh, under tray so in between the two not over the top um, it runs right along here just missing the stand as well you don't want it anywhere in between the stand otherwise when you lift your stand up and down obviously the brake cable if it's not tied up clipped up there correctly you're gonna have a problem so the last thing to do there is just push this uh, this cable into the back of this groove here it just fits in there snugly there's actually a little cover that, that will fit in there once I've got this on and then uh, the next thing to do is just uh, Put the back of this cable just through this brake lever arm at the back. Of course, just before you put this uh, back through this brake lever arm here, you just need to put this uh, spring back on here just so you can get your tension when you're taking the cable up. We'll pop this, uh, put this back through this brake arm here. Now I've got this through the end, I just need to put this uh, locking nut, this adjuster nut, back on the back of this cable. So there we go, I have the uh, rear brake cable on there, as you can tell, I'm just going to set this up nicely. It does, uh, it does still pull quite a long way in on this lever, but it is better than it was, so what I need to do is just re adjust this uh, rear brake arm. I'm just going to move it around on the spline until I get in the point where it bites a little bit quicker on the, uh, on the brake lever up here. So I'm happy that the cable's on, I'm just going to do some uh, adjusting on the back, just to make sure that this uh, brakes up nice and quickly as I pull the lever on for the rear brake. 